Yes, he will accept that because uh, there is first he didn't want to, but there is a lot of pressure and he is needed till the till we can bring the Maoist into the mainstream political mainstream. People want that he stays as a prime minister and solves this problem, you know, for the peace and stability of Nepal. His mind is clear, his thinking is clear, and his commitment is clear. You know, we have many leaders, uh, important leaders, who have made very sacrifices in several parties. But he's a ta he's the towering personality, and because of that, in spite of many reservations that people have had about his past performances, apprehensions about what I what he might do next, still uh, people have uh, galvanized, uh, have been galvanized around him. It's not a matter of who will prime minister. The main matter is uh, the crisis should be resolved and the army should be under the control of the parliament. Minister, it, it will not be enough. Supposed to be human rights also come and other organizations would become there, which is not uh, presented in the um, uh, parliament. They have agreed to join the political mainstream peacefully and work for a democratic system and democratic republic if that's what the people wish for. Uh, through, their, through their mandate in the constitutional assembly elections that they want to see as soon as possible. So given this situation, naturally, uh, Mr. Koyalala made compromises. No, he has to be, he has to be a good prime minister. It is a challenging task. So he has to show his capability and then the time will show.